What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Pyrostasis here, and we are continuing on with our walkthrough of Valve Boom's catacombs. We are here to basically make sure this evil presence doesn't manage to get out into the public, which would be, uh, which would be bad, apparently, because he's some kind of evil monstrosity. That, that doesn't look good. Man, when you walk into a room and you see a dude laid out on a table covered in a pool of blood surrounded by what looks like evil i don't know rock parrots of doom probably not the best idea now that did something there's the spider all right we're gonna sneak around over here and maybe he won't notice us bad spider That is the nice thing about stealth, man. Once you get it up high, now I've got 94 stealth on this tune, plus 35%, so that's pretty ridiculous stealth. I'm practically invisible. Which makes me basically a 600 DPS nuclear weapons throwing badass. All right, what do we got behind this? Door? Go ahead and get out of the way. Anytime you see undead just hanging out in these little catacombs, you need to be careful um, most of the time. Like sometimes these guys right here can even wake up, but if they look like a skeleton, they're fine. If they look kind of beefy, you know, for a skeleton, that dude's kind of fat, you know. He's still got pieces hanging off of him, you know. He's got he's got some hair. He's got his nice little, uh, what do you call it? badass hairdo of doom. The other female undead love his gorgeous hair, so you gotta be careful. Alright, and... I fucked that up. Roll, 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 roll. And he triggered the trap, which killed him. Not sure what that trap was, but apparently it was pretty nasty. I should have hung around to watch that. That is the other nice thing about Undead, is they are stupid enough to trigger their own traps. So, you can quite often use those against them, if you are so inclined. One of my favorite traps is this swinging door with spikes on it. It's, it's absolutely hilarious if you can get an Undead to walk in front of it. Alright. And turn. Good, Draugr. Oh, son of a whore. Alright, well we're just gonna roll around this until he forgets about us. Roll with your ninja flips! Okay. I think he's about forgotten about us. The problem I'm having is the power attacks have a tendency to take a step forward every time I do them. And that seems to be what's getting me killed. There we go. As you notice there, I had to double attack him. Reason why? No power attack. That was the problem I was bumping into last night. Is The, uh, the non-power attack seemed to, uh, to, to not finish the job. There's a skeleton there, and that would be why there's a skeleton there. So back over here, you're going to notice this door and this chain in the wall. We pull this bad boy, and it'll let us get in back here to uh, yank those soul stones out. Darth Vader's just chilling here. I like how he kind of jumps in place when I stab him like that. It's almost like he's happy to get backstabbed. All right, so he is out of it. Let's see what badass armor. Wow. We don't get his armor, we just get the ebony sword. Good God, that 720 gold, that is ridiculous. Now, depending on what level you come through here will depend on the gear that you get, and maybe even the monsters. I've noticed that Skyrim scales pretty interestingly based on the, uh, the abilities of your character. All right, so I'm hearing more angry walking. Uh, what do we have? Going all splinter cell on this shit. 
That right there, my friends, is the gate I was telling you about that I think is absolutely hilarious. All right, he's down. Let's roll over here. Whoops. There we go. And these Death Lords, I mean, they're not terrible, uh, but they do have the ability to shout, which is the problem. Uh, if you have an issue, you can always walk them over these traps, and as you can tell, you don't want to get stuck by this thing. Um, you just got to be careful that you don't get caught in it yourself, but it will, it'll give them a pretty good swipe. I thought that was an alive one. Now, I'm probably getting through here a lot easier because I am sneaking and a lot of Draugr won't wake up. Um, if you aren't a sneaking character, you may notice that you have significantly more undead to deal with. Like that one right there wouldn't have woken up if I hadn't hit him. So, your mileage may vary. Oh, joy. Book, 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 book. He's down. Oops. Just pop up over here. And down he goes. I love that little standing in place jump. Common soul gem and some gold. Nah. Alright. Go ahead and hop down here. Nothing to worry about from that dude. Kind of an interesting green glow coming off the ground over here. All right, let's head on in and see what we got. Big scary ass door. Oh, more spiders. Ah! I probably don't need to power attack these. Hook. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna have to fight this one. I'm pretty sure. Unless he's retarded and. Yep. Roll, roll. Oh, nice. There we go. All right. Spiders aren't so bad. Whoa. I totally forgot about that trap. You'll definitely want to make sure you pull that on this side, because if you pull it on that side and then walk through. Not only that, but as you can tell, it's not going to stop, so you're going to get burninated regardless. Alright, so we are looking for the Iron Claw. Now this is basically the standard Iron Claw puzzle, or Claw puzzle. Dragon, Bird, and is that a Fox in the bottom? Dragon, Bird, Fox. Pretty sure. So Dragon, Bird, Fox. Dragon, bird, fox. There's the dragon, there's the bird, there's the fox. And claw goes in. Bada boom, bada burn. You need to get out from behind that door, you know. Don't want to be one of those traveling salesman types here in uh, Skyrim. You never know. Uh, never know what's going to happen when you open that door. Now, this is a nasty room. We're going to have quite a few of these badass Draugr spread out. Now, thankfully, they're all kind of happy to be on their side of the wall. So, they're easy to walk up behind and bitch slap. Make sure you power attack if you are a stealther. If you don't power attack, you're not going to kill them in one hit. I would demonstrate, but I value my life. Oh, shit. And down we go. I'm going to go ahead and yank that bad boy off there. That removes the lines, and now we gain access to the shout. That's some nice little stuff. All right. So from here, we need to find the exit, which I believe is over here. Yep. head on up the dungeon entrance and now we actually have to go fight the big bad badass uh, we've got the three vials which apparently are 
basically he drained his blood and i think he goes into that he may have already gone into it and i just forgot but he drained his blood prior to his death because he wanted to become an undead badass lich or aka a uh, dragon priest so we're gonna head back to the entrance as we roll our fat ass up there i love this roll ability all right we're not gonna pickpocket valdar we'll just you talk to him the vessels I was worried that I had sent you to your death. Not so worried you came to help, ass. In life, have Norak drained his own blood from his body. There we go. His goal was to transfer his power back into himself after death, becoming a powerful lich. The vessels contain that very blood. Empty them, and you remove any chance he has of regaining his former power. Well, that's good. <laughs> Very well. Empty the vessels into the scots near the throne. Then sit in the throne. Yeah, I'm sure sitting when in the throne is so, completely necessary. I will unbind Hevnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state. But the lich is still to be reckoned with. So basically you're saying he's be not ready. a morning person. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hop up here. We're going to dump this shizzle into this little uh, this little pit. And then we're going to come sit on our pimp throne, which I'm kind of horrified to do. All right, fuck that. I'm not going to sit here like a boss and wait on him. We'll come over here and hide in the shadows. All right. Swords out. Can you have Narak? Well, no, I actually don't. Whoa, is he looking this way? He is looking this way. Whoa! Stop turning, bitch! Oh, how did I miss? You're like, right there! Oh, God. Fuck, fuck, fuck. As you'll notice, 660 damage. Was just a little bit more than 50, 60% of his health. Thanks to my ninja rolls, like a boss. He. Alright, fuck it, he knows where I'm at. Now he doesn't. I'm invisible! Shit! Stop moving! Oh god! Whiff, whiff, whiff! Fuck, fuck! There you go. Damn it! What does he have on him? Immune to disease and poison. That's kind of a nice little thing. And this right here is really cool. Oh, actually, that's different than the one we got last night. Interesting. All right, let's talk to Baldar, see what he has to say. Thank you, hero. Now I may finally rest. Take of Norak's iron mask. It may be of use to you. And so... Whoa. All right, bro. Well... I guess you were done talking, so. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that concludes this video where we uh, clear out one of the Dragon Priests, Falthoon. I'll most likely uh, be continuing on with the Daedric Artifacts next week, but uh, I want to go and head down to the... Uh, there's a ruin near here where you can actually watch Hagravens make a Forsworn, and I tried to get into that place previously, uh, on I think it was my mage and I got my ass handed to me so it's uh, let's see work studs right here so it's gonna be down right around here if I remember right so we're gonna head over in that direction um, I'll pick up there in the next video but I hope you guys like this video series if you do please click that like button make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos tips tricks and guides and I'll catch you guys in the next clip